Terry Report is brought to you by Coleman University. Former sailors who were there at the beginning 30 years ago were on hand today for the end of this San Diego-based warship, the USS Rent. The Navy retired the guided missile frigate from service. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with why those who served have such an emotional tie to it. A decommissioning ceremony is part high school reunion and part Navy tradition, but it's always this. It's emotional. Mike Smith flew out here from Illinois, Paul Dolan from Wisconsin, both plank owners, a Navy term for the first to sail on a new ship. Now both have come full circle. It can bring you to tears, but then the joy that I'm feeling is incredible. Right? I mean, just to be near her again. But after 30 years, time has caught up to the USS Rents, which, like other guided missile frigates, are being phased out. And as difficult as it may be to witness the end... I can't imagine sitting at home right now thinking, this is going on and I'm not there. The ship was named for Chaplain George Rents, awarded the Navy Cross for his actions in the 1942 Battle of the Java Sea. On its last deployment, the Rents crew was credited with capturing drug runners and narcotics worth more than $100 million. But that time is past. The crew was ordered off the ship, a ship that had become a part of it. You just get part of it. It's part of your life. But with a final command, Close May, strike eight bells. the ship's colors and commissioning pennant came down and the active duty life of the USS Rents was officially over. Another guided missile frigate, the USS Vandergriff, which left on deployment today, when it comes home, it'll go through the same ceremony that USS Rents just did. Bob Lawrence, 10 News, Naval Base, San Diego. Ceremony. Perry class frigates are being phased out for the new littoral combat ships. The rents may live on, though, in service to another country.